Hi there, I'm David from DEB Chartered Accountants. With the benefiting kind tax charge for company provided cars becoming more and more costly, then more company directors are using their private cars for doing business journeys. If you use your private car, then you need to keep a log of your business mileage and make regular expense claims in order to get reimbursed by your company for the cost of these journeys. A company can reimburse an employee for the use of their own car for business related travel and this doesn't have to be reported on a form P11D as long as it's paid within the amounts that are allowed by HMRC. The company would get tax relief on the amounts that it paid and this consequently would reduce the corporation tax that it has to pay. You can't however claim for the cost of commuting from your home to your regular workplace as this is not deemed to be a business journey. Both company directors and employees can claim. If employers don't pay business mileage or pay them less than the HMRC approved rates, then the employee can make a claim at the end of the tax year for the difference. This is done either through self-assessment or by making a separate claim direct to HMRC. So traders can also, if they wish, claim mileage as an alternative to recording the costs of fuel, repairs, insurance, road tax, etc. and other motor costs, and then apportioning them between business and private use. The amount you can claim back, without it becoming a benefit in kind, is anything up to the HMRC approved mileage allowance payments. These currently are 45p a mile for the first 10,000 miles, and 25p a mile for any miles in excess of 10,000. This is to cover for the general running costs of the employee's car. Thus no other payments should be made to the employee, such as payments for fuel, for example. You can also claim 24p a mile for the use of a motorcycle, or 20p a mile for the mileage on a bike. Though strangely, the self-employed can't make a claim for mileage on a bike. Keeping a mileage log to substantiate the mileage claim is essential. This should record the details of each journey and then the number of miles this has taken. You will find an example of an expenses claim on which you can claim mileage in the files library on DebConnect. This will help you to calculate the amount due for mileage as well as enabling you to claim back for other costs that you may have incurred privately. We recommend that you do an expenses claim monthly and always pay the amount of the claim from your business bank account. Avoid doing annual claims as these would be for a large amount and could attract unwanted attention from HMRC. Bear in mind in a PAYE inquiry they would want to check your whole system for paying mileage. So you need to retain your mileage records systematically for six years. We always recommend that you actually pay the expenses each month instead of leaving them unpaid, say because you are short of money to pay them. It is better to introduce some money to the business as either a loan to the business or capital introduced and then use this money to pay the expenses back to you. If your business is VAT registered, you can also claim input tax on part of the mileage paid. To work out the fuel element, you need to use the advisory fuel rates. These rates are amended each quarter to reflect prevailing fuel prices. You can find what these rates are by doing a Google search on advisory fuel rates. These advisory fuel rates can also be used by employees who are provided with a company car, but who don't get fuel provided. As with all HMRC approved mileage rates, no benefit in kind will arise as long as the advisory fuel rates are not exceeded. In my next video, I will show you why you really must make a claim for mileage that you are due to, and why it doesn't make any sense in not making the claim. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this with others to help them. Bye for now.